What's good guys? We're back at it again with another video. We got a two piece today to celebrate 5k. As you can see by the titles, we have a Jared McCain breakdown. 6'2 guard out of California just recently got done playing with Team USA, playing for Team Why Not and Peace Jam now. And Jared McCain, we've done his breakdown on the channel before. This is one of the more popular high school basketball players, period, out of everybody. And a lot of that popularity is because if you didn't know, he's on TikTok dancing, doing this, this, and that. And I've said in my older video, it might not be something that I would do or, you know, some of my teammates would have done around that same time. But I also said, and a lot of players need to understand this. If you're going to do, you know, the external, the stuff off the court, Draymond Green has kind of been struggling with this too. I mean, at least before he won the championship, people were talking about his podcast, right? You can do whatever you want off the court, things like that. But when you step on that court, when you step on that court, 94 feet, you have to produce because if you don't, everyone is only going to say, oh, you know, all your attention is on that other thing. You need to be in the gym. When you're making TikToks, you need to be in the gym. With Draymond, instead of doing a podcast, you need to be in the gym. But... If you are performing, if you continue to perform, nobody can really tell you anything because, you know, obviously Jerry McCain was just named the offensive MVP of Peach Jam. Obviously was also first team Peach Jam, which is why we're doing this breakdown today. I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Let's get into it. Okay, so Jerry McCain, I've said before, I'll be completely honest. I've said before when I first saw him doing the TikToks and the dance and thing like that, I'm like, man, I mean, that's cool. But understand that when you step on the court, dudes is going to be stepping to you like, you soft and all you do is dance all day and, you know, it's going to be sweet out there. They're going to be trying to bully you as long as you can back that up. You know, it's OK. Do what you want. And ever since I said that, he's been playing at a really high level. In that first session, I think he got off to a slow start. But since then, been killing. Just got done with Team USA. Now bring it to Peach Jam and you average 23 and 8. And I was there. I wanted to see what the hype was about, you know, EYBL, modern time, Peach Jam, modern time. Because I remember when I was playing, but I wanted to see what it looked like now. And I'm seeing the talent level of a lot of these teams. And I'm walking around and I'm seeing like, man, some of these dudes almost taller than me. Keep in mind, I'm 6'8". I'm like, okay, this is going to be interesting to see what he does in this type of environment when, when it's Jerry McCain, every game is also going to be packed. I watched him time and time again produce, even when, like I said, the talent level on his team might not have been the greatest apart from him, maybe Dusty, a couple other guys comparable to other, other teams. So he's the first option. He's the person the other team is trying to stop. And I watched this dude make so many tough shots. Let's start to run this. His ability to play off of two feet in the paint. In the paint, let's say you get cut off. His ability to pivot, spin, bump, do whatever it takes to create just a little bit of space to get a shot off and to still knock it down. Like in a lot of these shots, as you can see, hand is right here. These are great contests. And he's still knocking it down. That's the biggest thing I want to say that I took from Jared McCain's performance at Peach Jam. His ability to knock down tough shots, especially in that mid-range area, it's next level. Just his ability to stay on balance, even in the midst of defensive pressure. And like I said, it doesn't matter. Pivot, bump, do whatever you got to do to just get a little bit of space because that's all he needs to get a shot off. And it's going in with a level of consistency, even on these clips, right? He has the ball in his hands and he really loves that dead dribble. Let the defender go by you just a little bit. Pull up for the jumper. Even on these, the defender is still right there in his face. He has no problem. He's getting great arc on the ball and it's gone really fast with the defender right here. It doesn't matter. He's knocking it down. And there's a specific reason why I chose Moken to do this breakdown on Jared McCain. Moken just won Peach Jam. Moken has the best, if not one of the best programs in the EYBL, period. Like, period. There isn't many programs that even can come close to them. I think they won how many out of the last couple of years, right? They have one of the better coaches in terms of schemes, offensively and defensively. So for him to put up 31, granted they did lose, right? Like I said, the talent level on their team isn't, you know, comparable to some of the other ones, but for him to still be able to produce as a number one option when everyone else on your team isn't performing or isn't making shots. And I'm still watching you knock down tough shots, play after play after play, not quitting at all continuing even when you're coming from behind still continuing to put pressure on the defense trying to get shots up trying to get your team back in the game i have a lot of respect for him in terms of going downhill attacking the paint if you guys haven't noticed he doesn't really create a lot of separation off the bounce so it's not going da -da, and then the defender's all the way over here and he can get downhill or even when he does attack the paint it's not like he's going to jump up and elevate and really like punch on somebody really go over someone no but again i want you guys to notice he isn't the quickest or the fastest but he knows how to play off of two feet so when he gets in the paint, as I'm showing you, and he does get cut off, again, he understands how to pivot, spin, get around his defender who will 
you know, end up fouling him so he can get to the line and he does make his free throws. He does show good instincts around the rim. As you can see here, he's going in the paint against one of the tallest players that they even have in the EYBL. And he has the smarts to be able to use that inside hand, get it up there in time so he can finish that layup. Like I said, there isn't a whole lot of, oh, I'm just going to put my head down and get to the rim. But when he does decide to get downhill, he can stop on a dime. He's not going too fast. He's playing at his own pace. So when he stops, he's on balance and he can shoot it from here. He can spin around and shoot it. He can pivot a little bit and shoot it. He has a plethora of decisions that he can make. He can shoot it. He can pass it. He just has a whole lot of options because he plays off of two feet. His shot doesn't just extend to 15 to 17 feet. No, he can knock down threes as well. As you can see, it's the same exact shot though. The same shot that he shoots when he does a dead dribble when the defender's right here, hand in his face, same release point. The same shot that when he drives by somebody and has to stop onto it and spin back and shoot a fadeaway, it's the same release point, the same shot and when he's wide open from three, when he's deep from three. He can shoot. Jerry McCain can shoot the ball, whether there's a hand there or not. His shot is consistent. That's another big thing I want to say. It's the same release every time. He's bringing it up the same way. He's holding his release at the peak every single time, which is why he's able to knock down these shots with this level of consistency, even with defenders right here in his face. Another player who's making mid-ranges at this level is Isaiah Elohim, a younger player in 2024. Obviously, they're not creating shots the same way, but in terms of the tough shot making from the mid-range, big time. Like I said, he averaged 24 and 8, so he did a great job on the glass throughout the entire Peach Jam, just doing what his team needed him to do to win. It was obvious for him on this team, his role was to take shots and to make shots and to hunt for his shots. So when he's open, when he got a sliver of space, he's getting it up. And he's making it with the level of consistency. So regardless of what's happening on TikTok, social media, whatever, this was the offensive MVP of Peach Jam, which again is the best players in the country. So regardless what anybody has to say, he keeps performing. And this is obviously one of the best players in the country. He's also going to have to be in that top 15, top 20 range because that's all he was playing this past week. And he was killing the entire time. Like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, if you want the subscriber breakdowns or the one-on-one -on -one evaluations that go on the channel that I post on this channel, just like all of these, hit my website in the description. Also, if you have any like individual questions about AAU or you know how to go into college basketball, things like that, also hit my link for Noodle in the description. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I appreciate you watching again. I'll see you guys next time for the next video.